All right, guys, this is going to be a tarot reading for all signs. I try to go live, but for some reason, it was not letting me go live. So this is going to be for all signs. So I'm going to start with fire signs, and then I'll go through each one of the signs, okay? And I decided I'll just show the cards at uh, this time uh, like this and show my face because I barely show my face on here. Let's see fire signs as Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. If you have that permanent in your chart, what can you expect? And this is a timeless reading. So whenever it is that you see this reading is when you're meant to see it. Um, and if you would like a tarot reading or any of my uh, merchandise, you can go to queenofswordsdivination.com. Or you can message me at queenofswordsdivination at gmail.com. Let's see, what can you expect? Past energy for our fire signs. We have the Eight of Swords in the reverse. We have the Three of Pentacles in the write up for past energy. And we have the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Present energy. We have the Five of Pentacles in the reverse. We have the Five of Wands in the reverse, in the write up. And we have the Two of Cups in the reverse. Future energy, we have the Four of Swords in the write-up. We have the High Priestess in the reverse. And we have the Two of, um, <laughs> the Two of Wands for your future energy. Bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Swords in the reverse. All right, so in the past, you could have been feeling kind of stuck in a situation I feel like you're coming out of it. You were very much in your feelings and in and a lot of anxiety, okay? There's a lot of anxiety here. You could also be stuck with somebody that has a lot of anxiety and is bringing your energy down. This could be kind of like your friends or people that are around you at this time. Um, you're trying to kind of build yourself up, trying to kind of change the environment around you, trying to work on something here with this three of pentacles. Um, you could be very focused on work, very focused on your money. Uh, you're trying to build something with someone as well, I'm seeing here. However, I am seeing that this person um, might be a little bit of a burden. Um, or they might have some kind of baggage that they haven't told you about. Um, this is definitely somebody that has had a lot of bad luck in the past. Uh, this could be either an earth sign. So I'm seeing Virgo here. I'm seeing Pisces here. Um, I am seeing Gemini, Libra, Aquarius on the board. Leo as well. Um, this person might have just been kind of like not growing up, very mature, or just not um, up to your level here. I feel like this person tries to do things for you. Uh, but they might, it might just come across like a manipulation tactic, to be honest. Present energy, that's in the past. Now, present energy, I am seeing that you are getting out of debt. You are getting out of like victim mentality because I am seeing here that you are very, very anxious at one point. You're coming out of that energy. However, I do feel like you see like there's either you're trying to kind of get ahead financially or in your relationship, but I feel like you are constantly fighting with people around you. So there's a lot of like tension. Either people see you as competition or you're seeing them as competition. This could even be your partner as well. Or maybe your partner has a lot of people that they don't get along with that, that could be seeing you as competition. Or you could have, they could have friends that you see as competition. There's a lot of competition energy here. This could be affecting your current relationship. Okay. Um, I am seeing you, uh, your self-esteem be affected by this um, a little bit in the future, though I see a little bit of a time for you to kind of go within to try to uh, focus more on yourself. I am seeing you, and this could have been something that you've been doing for, for several years now, trying to just uh, stick to yourself, try to figure your, what you want out of life. You are tired of fighting and competing with people. I am seeing that. However, I feel like you have failed and you will continue to fail to follow your intuition about the people around you because there is some people that you know for a fact you have to cut off that you have not done that. You have, haven't done it. Um, 
this could be because you're trying so hard to build something with these people or these individuals or you're just you i have a feeling that you just kind of like have given up on whoever this is that i'm talking about so this is like somebody that's been in your life for a while that you've tried and tried and tried to do things to try to change how they've kind of come across but i feel like this person um has not changed and you've given up you need to follow your intuition on who this is um i do see you coming out of this uh, situation uh however i am seeing the person that you're with could be a little bit cutthroat or kind of rude to you if you do so so be aware of that i'm gonna go ahead and pull out some oracle cards for you and again this is a general reading so just take what resonates and leave the rest um you could also uh, i'm just gonna keep continuing so this is the fire sign i'm gonna go on to the water sign so if you have water in your chart you should listen to that one um i'll do all elements today let's see what how can we what else can we tell our fire signs it's time for you to level up and i feel like that is why you've been kind of trying to go towards just building upon yourself and not dealing with so many people around you. However, I do see that people around you are the ones that are bringing you down and you refuse to, to let them go. You could feel like these people around you could be a twin flame and a soulmate or you could have two people around you. One that's a soulmate and one that's a twin flame. And they're both, maybe you're just not sure what you want here um, as well, okay? Uh, I do feel I'm seeing you dealing with a lot of childhood trauma, okay? So that might be what's kind of stopping you from progressing in life or trying to get ahead. Uh, but there will be justice done in this situation, okay? So I feel like justice for you might be having to go through all this trauma, you know, and dealing with it. Um, I'm seeing you kind of all over the place, fire signs. I'm seeing you unsure of what you really want. Uh, please rely on your friends at this time because they will be helping you to try to kind of get out of your head and focus more on getting ahead. So that's pretty much what I have for you, fire signs. Let's go ahead and move on to the water signs. I decided to just do one big, long video for you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and reshuffle. This is going to be for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, water signs. Or if you have water anywhere in your chart. Okay. Let's see. What can we expect? First card out, past energy. This is a page of swords in the reverse. Three of cups in the reverse. Two of swords in the reverse. Past energy. Now present energy. We have the five of swords in the right up. I mean in the reverse. We have the double in the right up. And we have the tower in the reverse. Future energy. Future energy for my water signs. Let's see what's the future energy for the water signs. King of cups in the right up. Seven of Swords in the reverse. And the Ace of Wands in the right up. Bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Cups in the reverse. Okay, what are signs I'm seeing in the past? You might, you or somebody else might have been kind of spying on you, okay? Um, if you're not aware of this, there was people kind of watching you, seeing what your moves were. This could be somebody that you or the person you were dealing with was in some type of third party situation with. Um, or they could be like a drinking buddy, like a friend, okay? Like somebody that they had a lot of fr fun with. Um, this might be somebody that they did that does not like you. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, this is somebody that um, that wants to kind of ruin what you got going on okay that's pretty much what i'm seeing present energy though i don't see this person really influencing what's going on with you i feel like um this person feels defeated in some way if this is somebody that you were kind of like competing with for something this person does feel defeated but this person is not able to let go of the situation so i want you to be careful or be aware that you have somebody that's a little bit obsessed with you 
that um, has been spying on you, that knows a lot about you, that you're not, you don't know. Like it's somebody that you might not even know uh, exists. This is somebody that's very manipulative, so be careful. Good thing is that nothing's gonna happen. Nothing's gonna come from this, at least at this time. Uh, you are protected at this time. I feel like you've been keeping to yourself. You've been keeping your internal peace and yourself in a very balanced state. And this has kind of helped you to harness positive energy and bring in positive energy into your life. Future energy, that's future energy. Future energy, whatever it is that you're worried about or have been worried about, I don't think that you have too much to worry about because nobody's kind of lying to you or being deceitful to you at this time. I feel like there's a lot of good opportunities coming your way um, with this uh, Ace of um, Ace of, uh, of Wands. I'm also seeing that you could have either like a new child or a new family member come into your life this could be somebody that you haven't talked to for a while as well um if there is somebody that you were dealing with that has some type of addiction in your life i feel like this person will come out of it i'm also seeing you like your intuition is very sharp at this time um you are able to kind of discern who you should give your time to and who you shouldn't to uh, I feel like you've been alone for a while. If you've been alone for a while and you haven't had a <clears throat> partner, I feel like the reason for that is because um, you had to, to learn self-love. I feel like a lot of people drained you and a lot of people kind of try to manipulate you. Um, you definitely have a good heart, whoever I'm talking to here, and uh, people definitely try to, uh, to take advantage of that in the past. They could have... Uh, known kind of what you liked and used it to their advantage okay uh let's go ahead and pull out some oracle cards for you water signs what can i tell you water signs you do have some true love coming your way so if this is not self-love whoever it is that you're with it, they do have true love for you um but be careful of you not being a little bit too um codependent on this person okay you at this time are able to see a veil of illusions through the veil of illusions that people try to bring your way because there was a lot of that in the past so you know who you can trust and who you can't trust okay the people that did that you are unable to trust they're running out of time on your life like you know who these people are there's a lot of karmic people from your past that have they might still you could have karmic family here that just uh this could be the father of your children as well. Like somebody that's running out of time, karmic, very karmic in nature. Although this person might love you or have a lot of love for you, I feel like this person has made a lot of illusions. I think this person could even lie to themselves, honestly. If you have new love coming, if you have, if it hasn't gotten already to you and it's a new opportunity, you have some type of new beginning here. Now this new love could be this new person that's showing into your life or it could be a new fa family member. That is pretty much what I am seeing. All right, let's move on to the fire signs. Fire signs. What can we expect for our fire signs? And you gotta give me one second. All right. Fire signs, that's Aries, uh, Sagittarius, and Leo. Oh, I already did the fire signs. Didn't I do the fire signs already? So now I am going to do the earth signs. Earth signs. So that is Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. What can we expect from uh, our earth signs? Spirit, tell me what our earth signs can expect. Past energy, we have the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. We have the Two of Cups in the reverse. And we have the Two of Wands in the reverse present energy we have judgment card in the reverse we have the emperor in the reverse and we have the six of coins in the reverse a lot of reverse souls here and now i'm getting something like somebody tried to do some type of magic or something and it kind of backfires so if you're doing that be careful make sure that you do divination before you do any work future energy 
the world in the reverse. Six of cups in the reverse. Every single card in the reverse. Ooh, except for eight of eight of coins in the write-up. So there was some work done here. So I'm gonna be coming straight out of the bat, the, uh, uh, out the gate, <clears throat> to let you know that if you did some work on somebody, it reversed on you. I don't like it. A um, lot of negative energy here. Um, if you did not do that, then there is somebody sending you some negative vibes. You could be going through some type of karma for some things you have done in the past as well. Um, there's a lot of negativity here. Um, past setters, you have the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. You could have been feeling like it was kind of hard for you to kind of get ahead for some reason, especially in your love life. Um, I do feel like you have some people that you really care about, but these things like didn't really last that long. Um, I am seeing you very stuck, okay? I am seeing you wanting to get back with somebody from your past as well, or having flashbacks to somebody from your past. It could be somebody from that has fire in their chart. This is somebody that has a red aura. Uh, I feel like this person could have been really nice to you at one point. Or even, it even seems like it could have been somebody that, that was almost childlike. But somehow this person got really upset with you. And <laughs> this person has like two sides. Like a really nice side and then like an extremely evil side that's like the same. So be careful. Uh, this could be somebody you've known for a while. Your, my, your money is coming in. However, I'm seeing you having to work really hard for it. Um... You definitely could benefit from a cleansing here. I am seeing work though for you. So if you're trying to get work, get money, it's coming, but it might not come in as fast as you want, or it could kind of fall out of your fingers very quickly, okay? I am also seeing <clears throat> that you need to do some work with your ancestors because you could have done some things that they're not very, very happy with you about. I'm not gonna lie to you here. Um, Uh, children in your life. You might have some childhood issues as well that you need to work with on. Bottom of the deck, we have the king of wands. So, although you're going through all this negativity, I am seeing you kind of trying your best to kind of stay ahead. You're either starting your own business or working really hard to try to get ahead. Okay? You could benefit from candle magic at this time. Make sure you don't do anything negative to anybody because if you did, or if you do, this person is stronger than you because the emperor is right in the middle of the spread in the reverse. You could have pissed somebody off that you shouldn't have messed with. I'm not going to lie. Again, these energies are interchangeable. So this could be the person that you came here to listen about. Okay. Let's go ahead and pull out some cards for you. At the end, though, I'm seeing the energy slowly moving away from you. But just be, be aware that that could be why you're feeling like you're such a rut. I don't see you very anxious, but I am seeing you having some self-esteem issues. I'm also seeing you just having issues in love in general and feeling kind of stuck. Okay? Um, teamwork. Right now you could benefit from maybe going out there and working with your friends on something. You could also benefit from teamwork if you're trying to start some type of business. In the past, it could have been somebody that you betrayed or that they betrayed you, okay? And I feel like that is something that um, is causing all this negativity. So there is some type of karma here. Infidelity as well. There could have been some infidelity going on as well. There might be, could be somebody that you were you were betrayed by or you they betrayed you or you betrayed them. There was some type of infidelity going on. And, and that's why there's some karma here, okay? You're coming out of a state of being obsessed or reminiscing about something over and over in your head. So that's good. This is energy that's passing by, okay? Stalking. So somebody was stalking somebody here. They were obsessed with them. Um, again, I was seeing that. Um, they could be getting readings on you, like, over and over again. Um know that the energy is passing by but i mean 
don't reminisce too much on on these this energy because it could come back blast from the past so be aware of that if you need a personal reading go ahead and contact me okay all right and lastly but not least of course i'm gonna do the air signs and then wrap this up okay air signs What can my air sign expect? So that is Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. What can the air signs expect? This is a timeless reading. Energy is interchangeable. Time is fluid. You know the drill, right? <clears throat> Past energy. Have the justice card in the write-up. We have the hanged man in the write-up. We have the high priestess in the right of the past energy. Present energy, present energy. What is the present energy for my air sign spirit? Ten of wands in the right up. Four of coins in the reverse. Knight of cups in the right up. Future energy, future energy. We have five of swords in the reverse. We have the Hierophant in the right up. And we have the Eight of Cups in the right up. Bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Wands in the reverse. All right, air signs. I am feeling like you some some type of justice has been kind of granted to you okay so if you were doing good good things were coming your way if you were doing bad bad things were coming your way and that was just being balanced okay that's just what it is i do feel like there was a lot of people in the past that that drained your energy a lot or this could be somebody that you're dealing with especially if you're dealing with a, a water sign uh i feel like the person from your past that had some water in their chart could have been very draining okay um there could also be a virgo or a pisces very draining energy okay um you also might be feeling kind of stuck in a situation at this time i feel like your intuition is pretty heightened though so like if you have like a inkling about something that doesn't feel right to you i feel like you are onto something okay um Especially if it comes to something to do with, and I'm sorry to be kind of dark here, but something to do with like a death or some type of, some type of issue that you, you've been kind of like very, very burdened by, okay? This could be something that you've been kind of overthinking about. Whatever it is that you were thinking about, you're right, okay? You might have dreams about this, okay? This... Like if you're having dreams about this or if you're just overthinking about something and you're like oh my god i know that this is there is something more to this it's so that you could let it go because that's how the energy work the energy works you know you're you're overthinking because you're an air sign of course and uh you might think that you're your own worst enemy because you're overthinking so much about this like stuff you need to let it go though the answers will come to you okay Whoever you're dealing with, if it's, especially if it's a younger water sign, I feel like this person does have a lot of love for you, okay? I feel like you might have to go through um, some um, some death and revert with this person, okay? This person could also be very jealous, so be aware of that. They definitely want some type of commitment with you, okay? But you might at times feel like you need to run away or kind of get away from this person. You could block them out. Um this spread is telling me like whoever you're with i'm talking to somebody specific here because whoever you're with could have you in some type of in a place where like if you leave then you lose a lot okay so be aware of that because i am seeing somebody kind of grab you here and like have a lot of power over you in a way and i don't think you like that Okay, I am seeing you kind of cutting off a lot of people at this time. So follow your intuition because there's some people that you don't need around you. All right. Um, whoever you're with, I feel like it's protected. Whatever kind of relationship you're in, it's protected. 
but if you feel some type of way about somebody that you're with and they might have been lying to you about something you need to follow intuition on this because this person could be very manipulative at times and you'll know because if you're in a healthy relationship you should not be watching tarot but if you're in not in a healthy relationship and you came here for answers i feel like whatever it is that you were wondering about you're right and this person's playing games with you okay let's go ahead and pull out some oracle cards trap <laughs> see somebody has you some type of like in some type of trap okay i'm hearing cancer strongly here a trap this person wants to trap you in some way okay this could be somebody that you're not sure if you should trust or this person does not trust you very much, okay? And there's a reason for that. I feel like this person might be kind of projecting onto you what they have done in the past, okay? You could be dealing with an energy vampire here if you're feeling like nothing that you do is good enough for this person. It's because this is an energy vampire. Could be dealing with an earth sign or somebody that has heavy earth in their chart. Okay. somebody you can't trust i feel like you're not sure because every time you try to say goodbye to this person they somehow pull you back that is what i'm seeing we're talking somebody that also has air in their chart so this could be somebody that has air in their chart as well let's see one more card for my air signs teamwork it's somebody that wants to have some type of teamwork with you but it's a trap okay again follow your intuition on this because it's, it's telling me like yeah this person wants a commitment with you but at what cost okay anyway i hope you enjoyed your reading bye guys